It's uh, Friday, May 22nd, 2020. Gong practice number 64. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting every day. Another day to be alive, another day to play, another day to be grateful and man, I'm just feeling so alive. Energy's flowing through me. Got up this morning, did an hour and a half yoga session, serious heat building, sweating, like uh, very much into the moment and like I just feel so good. It's just such a great way to to bring all the goodness in and so now it's time to play some gong and get my gong practice in. It's a great way to do a Friday, right? Yoga in the morning, play some gong, then go get my Kangen water 9.5 because that's all I drink is alkaline water. That's all I've been drinking for almost three years now. If you don't know about it, look into it. Ask me questions, I can probably tell you more about it if you like. Um, huge, huge benefits for that. And then, uh, I mean, yesterday was just awesome. I went to the beach and I first did sensory deprivation float tank. And then I went to the beach and 20 minutes in the water, just completely surrendering to the water. Like floating back, laying down, everything limp and just focusing on my breath. And inhale and then as I inhale, my whole body floats to the surface. And I slowly exhale and my body sinks back down. And then inhale and I float back to the surface. Just completely becoming one with the ocean and little droplets of salt water were splashing on my face, getting in my mouth, a little taste of the salt water. It's like the ocean's coming inside me, it's being around me, I'm being one with the with the energy of this planet and it's my it's my way to reconnect and I absolutely love it. And then I, I came home last last night and then took care of some work and then there was a sound journey that my gong teacher Supernova Sarah put on. If you don't know about her, check out her Facebook page, Supernova Energetics. Um, she has a website, uh, and she has a YouTube channel as well. So she had a sound journey last night, so I gotta to listen to that and line my crystals around me and use my yoga blocks and fish pose and butterfly and different things just to be present and listen to the sounds and waking up today, man, just alive, just loving life and it's a beautiful day. Every day is so, so great. It's a gift. It's present to be alive and to enjoy this experience to be able to experience this experience and so today I'm just going to play with just you know love I always play with love but today I'm just a little more energy a little more pep in my step I'm a little more alive so um, hopefully that comes through the sounds as I play and uh, you know usually I take some breaths to center myself but I'm pretty good I don't need to I'm like I'm feeling it I'm feeling it really well and and you can lie back and, and I recommend turning off your cell phone noise canceling headphones you can be awake and watch if you want. You can watch me strike the gong if that's what you want to do, but I really recommend just lying down, letting the sounds move you, let them take you where they take you, and focus on your breath. Any which way that works for you, just focus on your breath, come into a nice rhythmic breathing. Your mind may wander, just come back to your breath. Into the nose, out to the nose is how I like to go. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna start playing right now. Thank you very much for being here. Um, yeah, just excited about life. And so let's see how this sound comes out for you. Hopefully it comes out well. And actually I think today instead of instead of playing, I mean instead of uh, recording myself play, I'm gonna record the sounds, but instead of me watching me strike the gong, I'm just gonna put on some art for you. Just a nice piece of art to look at. And because it's beautiful. And because I can. So let me, uh, Get this picture dialed up and uh, you can listen to that and I'll start playing and I'll wake you up when it's done. So enjoy the sounds, enjoy the, the painting if, uh, if you want to be awake just looking at the painting. Thank you. I'll wake you up in a moment or 30 minutes.
slowly bring your attention back to yourself. Wiggling your fingers and toes. Nice deep breath in through your nose. Taking all the time that you need, just coming back into yourself. Oh, the appreciation you have for yourself. Thankfulness, great gratitude, and being grateful for this opportunity to have the sounds move you, or whatever they did for you. Um, for me, I loved it. I absolutely love playing the gong. And uh, I love sharing it. I share because I, because it's changed my life in so many ways that perhaps it might help others. I'm not saying anybody needs to change, but everybody can be better than who they are right now. There is no, there is no pinnacle. There is no top. And always strive to be better, better every day, little by little, yourself, that's all. What others do, no reason to compare. If I can compare myself to somebody that has a lot of money, you know, if, if money mattered, then I could be feeling down about myself or saying, hey, somebody else that ages should be here or there, or whatever, like all worldly possessions don't matter. They don't, what matters what's inside. It's the love inside that you have for yourself and the love you have for other people. Letting love guide you. That's the trick to life. It really is. So with that trick to life, one of the five things I think about every day, one of the things or that helps me stay centered is the five principles of Reiki, which are just for today, I will not anger. Just for today, I will not worry. Just for today, I'll be grateful. Just for today, I'll be kind to others. And just for today, I'll focus on my work. Those are all little things, but they're big things. And that's something to learn is that little by little, we improve ourselves. Little by little, things become great. They become big. You know, they say like, you don't run a marathon thinking about the 26.2 miles. Just ask yourself, can I take the next step? That's all that matters is the next step. And with our lives, that's all that matters is the next step. What's the next step you're going to take? What improvements are you going to make? You put down that chip, put down that cookie, put down that extra sweet. You can still indulge, but you don't need to overindulge. And I'm, a, I'm as guilty as anybody else. Easily go to the store and buy a bag of chips and like I will devour the whole thing. I mean, honestly, last week, I got some Girl Scout cookies. I mean, this is a true story. I bought six boxes of Girl Scout cookies because they're selling them at this hardware store because this coronavirus thing made the sales, whatever, whatever, so now they're at the hardware store. So I bought six boxes, right? <laughs> I ate all six boxes in less than four days. I mean, that was a lot of cookies, it's a lot of sweets, a lot of sugar, a lot of things I don't need at all. And what's cool about it is um, I ate them and they tasted great, but I also noticed instantly after eating them, I didn't feel good. I was bloated. I could see it in my face. I could see just swelling. I could see that my body just like, what are you doing? You don't need all that stuff. No, no offense to Girl Scout cookies, they're good in moderation. You don't need to eat six boxes in four days, for sure, for sure not. But I did. And I'll go at times go to Costco. And I'm like, oh, let's get one bag of these, I think they're late July jalapeno uh lime tortilla chips man they're so good but they're it's it's crazy you start eating them it's like you have to keep eating them because it's the initial flavor on the chip that's good that that sweet saltiness spiciness that hits your tongue it's like that's what you want and then after you chew it you just want more and you'll eat the whole bag like devour it that's right eat out just like three days it's like i'll buy it back on friday and by sunday night it's done and i'm like why did i just eat uh, 1700 calories of chips like I don't know but I do it sometimes and uh, I mean I, I know when I'm doing it like I don't need it but then it's like eh, you know whatever I, I mean but we all we all have our things we all have our things and every once in a while the uh, you know the fat kid inside me wants out and I'm just like man you gotta slow your roll and look down at my hand it's putting hand to face chip hand to chip chip to mouth 
over and over and over again. I'm like, what am I doing? What am I doing to stop? You can stop and then you just keep going and then it's just like, what? But either way, like once you buy them, once you buy it, once you put it in your shopping cart and you pay for it, you know you're gonna eat it all, so you might as well just eat it. It's in your system, it's out of your system, and then back to good. And that's that's the way I work. It's just take on the evil, get rid of it, and back to goodness. And that's uh, it's just life, I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, another great day. It's Friday, like I said, beautiful day, sunny outside, where I'm at anyway, sunny inside all the time because the light inside me is forever i know it is and it shines as bright as it possibly can because love is what i use to guide my life that's what it is it's that simple help where you can extend your hand be calm be kind be patient compassionate show people that you care show people that they matter a smile it's hard to do with this coronavirus mask but case your max off Take your mask off and smile at people because it's okay. It's human connection, that's what we're here for, understanding this experience. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, I really enjoyed playing for whoever it is that's watching, playing for you. Thank you very much for sharing your time and space and energy listening to this. And um, if you want, comment, like, subscribe, share, whatever. Ask me questions if you have questions. I'm sure at some point in time I got a lot. I got so much stuff to share, but it's just the time to do it. So I need I need to be working on that. But I got I got so many things I'm juggling, and that's life. I just got to prioritize and get things done. So with that, I got to get some work done today because that's what my life is. Get things done just for today. I'll focus on my work while not being angry, not worrying, being grateful, and being kind to others. It's that simple. Laugh more, love more, and smile more. Have a great day.